this time. Yippee! We get to go to town! Flag, we're all going to town! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> I ought to be washing today. It dries so fast in this weather. <laughs> huh? Forget your laundry for once, Ori. Pa's right. Let's just have some fun, huh? Like Sunday. Yeah. We can make life miserable for you lately, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. If you boys fall off, I'm certainly not picking you up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why you Bailey's pa's got a store closed today? That's funny. Oh. He never closes the store. I reckon Grandma Hudo knows the reason. I reckon she does. Yeah. <laughs> I got a strange feeling. Oh. All the Baxters. I have been so anxious to see the two of you. Oh. Oh, I flag. You sure have gotten big since I went away. <laughs> it's almost like he actually remembers me. He's smarter than people think he is. Will everybody please come in and bring Flag? But Flag will, uh, uh... That's all right. Besides, it's my last day in this house. What? Oh, oh. Look at all that food. It's a whole banquet. This here is a farewell party. What kind of farewell? I've decided to sell my house and moved to Boston to be with my dear daughter, Twink. But why so sudden? I just want to live near my daughter's baby. It's still months away, but Mother couldn't wait. Now all of you sit down. Oh, I just wish you could have told us sooner, really. I didn't want to worry you, so I thought it was best not to mention it in my letter. I get it. You ladies' pa's store is closed so they can come to the party, right? I didn't invite her to the party. Why? Huh? I'm afraid you Lely's family wouldn't be much in the mood for a party. What happened, Grandma Hudo? Hmm? Penny, how about running the general store yourself? What? What do you mean? hasn't been good and they put the store up for sale. But everyone shops at that store. And they never pay what they owe. He's just too kind, poor sweet man. Well, why should Pa run the store for him now, Grandma? It's no secret that Doc Wilson said that with your Pa's arthritis, he shouldn't be doing any more hard work. Yes, but I... I think you ought to move off that farm of yours and come to town right away now, Penny. But, but we don't have near enough money to buy out that store, you know. You just leave that to me. When I sell this house, I'll have more money than I can use. I think it's just a wonderful idea for you folks. I know it'll be hard for you to leave the woods. But you have to think of your health before anything right now. Isn't that right, Jody? That's right. Well, let's go around back. Come on. Uh. 
wife's leg. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm so glad you came. You can have all the candy you want now. Sorry, there isn't a lot left, but... Oh, uh... Oh, well. I guess you heard about my pa's store. You're moving. Yeah. Pa's brother has a ranch over in Texas, and we're going to go out there and help with the horses and things. Texas, huh? That's far. Oh, well, if... If I'd known this was going to happen, I would have been nicer to you, too, so you would have taught me how to ride horses and stuff. <laughs> What's the matter with you boys? It looks like you're the ones who are having to move. Uh, uh. No, Flag, no! Oh, Flag! It doesn't matter. There's Come nothing here, in flag. it. Oh. Wag, get get over over here. Here. Come here, Flag! Get over here. Come here. Flag! 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 I just hope your pa takes the store from us. But why pa? Because my father says he wants a real good person to take it over. I think it's a real fine idea for us now. I'm surprised to hear you say that. But Doc Wilson says the worst thing in the world for your arthritis is real back-breaking work. We've got Jody to help out. But he's just a boy yet, Penny. That's right. A boy who's not ready to start doing the work of a grown man on the farm yet. And if you move to town, he can start going to school. That child deserves the best education you can give him, Penny. I'm perfectly aware of that. You're both such hard workers. I know you do a fine job of running the store. Will you loan us some money? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. Cheer up, Butterwing. I know my pa, and he'd never want to leave the backwoods. There's no never in this world. Hey, Jody, your father's coming. Mm -hmm. He's come to see you about the store. <laughs> 